Okay guys, thank you for watching my videos. I am making actually, this would be the second video on these wallets, the Emily wallet and the Josephine wallet. The Emily is in blooms. I'm doing the second video because the first video that I did, I had someone comment saying to get my boobs out of the, the video. It was very unprofessional. She was saying all this stuff about it. So it, I was just wearing a regular tank top. I mean, it wasn't even a spaghetti strap. Maybe she was mad at the fact that mine looked better than hers. Who knows? If you are looking at it again to that same girl that had a problem with my boobs being in the video, then please don't comment. You can just exit out now. So I am actually making the second video on these Emily wallets and Josephine wallet. Um, again, this is not from Fab Joy. Fab AAA Joy. I just found that out. She said that she was. I found her on Instagram and it's not her. Um, she said it was her and hashtagged the joy. But I, I've previously ordered bags from Joy and you will know when it's a joy bag um, or item. Um, again, she, the real the joy does not uh, have receipts come with her items and she does turn all the um, dust bags inside out. So we know that it's the real joy. Again, I found her, her um, website, I found her on Instagram and she did give me the correct ad, um, I'm sorry, correct website. Again, um, she shut down from new cust uh, for new customers to be making new accounts. So it's like a special thing where you, if you are a previous customer, you can order. And if you cannot uh, make a new account, then you can't. I, I apologize for that. Um, long story short, you can find her on Instagram. So this one is on Instagram. It's Fab A A A Joy or Fab A A A Dash Joy. I'll put it on the, on the description. But to be exact, she claims that she is Joy. She is not. Um, I don't know how these wallets are supposed to be. So um, actually supposed to be meaning in um, authentic. But I do have and have had authentic um, Louis Vuittons, so I know that it didn't feel like this. Long story short, let's get to it. Um, so I'm going to open this first one. It has a Louis Vuitton. It's in blue. It's nice. Okay. I'm going to open it with you guys. So this is how it came. Again, my I already opened these. So, you won't be seeing it as if it was brand new and stuff like that. So, it came with a receipt as if I bought it in China. Let me just show you. Again, the real Joy does not have this info. It's like a point of sale receipt as if I bought it from Hong Kong. With 5,800 Hong Kong dollars. Okay, and then it does come with a Louis Vuitton as if I did buy it from a real Louis Vuitton store. Uh, 5,800 Louis Vuitton receipts. So let me get a close up. As if it was real, but it's not. Again, it's a replica. Okay, it came in, it came with a Louis Vuitton envelope. It's very nice, even though it's like not authentic, but it's very, very, very nice. What's in it? Again, if you were to buy an authentic, this is how the Louis Vuitton receipt would look. So it's like I actually bought it. And it actually has a stamp like I actually bought it. I'm just going to put all this stuff back.
put this away. Now, this is what it came with, a ribbon, as always. It was not, the ribbon was not wrapped as if I bought it from a Louis Vuitton store. It, it was just in here. Um, it did come with the care um, booklets. And it did come with these. So it comes in this dust bag. Feels like the real thing, but you could tell right here that it is not. I mean, it's more of a blue tint of color. Can't really see it, but it's a blue tint. So this is the wallet that I'm currently using. So this is the, I think this is the Emily. This is the Emily in Blooms, if I'm not, if I'm incorrect, sorry. I'm just gonna do a slow-mo so everyone could take a picture because I know, I mean, can visualize this because I know that when I watch YouTube videos, it's not like I wanna see exactly how everything looks. So I'm trying to get everything in the camera. It does say Louis Vuitton. And it is more of a plastic, plastic feel. And inside, I would say the, the black or brown, it's kind of cushiony. Okay, so what I did when I got this, probably a week, and it actually took me two weeks to get this. Almost exactly two weeks. So when I felt it, it was very matte. It, feel, it felt rubbery, it has a rubbery smell, it, the texture was just off, it doesn't have that shine that real Louis Vuittons do. It's matte and dull, so I can tell that it is not authentic. I mean, from afar, you probably can't tell, but coming up closer, you could tell that the texture is just not right. And then I brought up, I brought out my real Louis Vuitton Never full PM because I wanted you to see the difference. So, this is a, an authentic Louis Vuitton monogram. As you can tell in the light, it is kind of matte, but you still see a shine on it. Then we, when you come to this one, it just does, it's dull, very dull. The, the LVs look exactly the same. It's just the fact that it's dull, very just boring, dull. Now, when I got this wallet, I used the Apple Care. I used the leather conditioner. Um, it didn't, I also have the cleaner, but I didn't use it on it. Um, I didn't use, it just didn't do anything for it. It didn't condition it. I don't know if it's supposed to feel like this, but this is more of a shiny texture. And this one is just so dull. So I, Again, it's a replica. A replica. I'm sorry. It's it's a replica. I'm. I mean, you can't expect it to be exactly the same. They say it's real cowhide or real real leather. Who knows? Cause it smells like plastic to me. Again, I paid sixty five dollars for this. Um, I'm just reviewing it, so it's for you guys out there that are interested in this wallet. I mean, if you're interested, you're willing to pay $65 for a replica, do it. Because this is worth it, it looks like it, it just doesn't feel like it. It's really up to you, but I'm here to review on how I think of this wallet. 
Okay. So this is what it looks like. Okay, I'm in California. Now I'm gonna close up on the gold lettering. It actually looks great. It's not bad at all. And then you come in here. You have three pockets in here. You have one that's a little bit tight. You have one that's open that actually fits a iPhone S Plus. I'm sorry, an iPhone Plus that fits in there because you can, and then you could still put other things in there. And then you have another tight one where I just put money in there. Okay, so there's three in there. This is how it looks on the side. It can open, it can fold. And then you have your zipper, which I have a whole bunch of stuff in there. You have a zipper. You could store coins, cards, whatever, stuff that I just, that are important, I put in there because I don't want it to fall out. Okay, zipper works great. So, I've been using this now for about four days. Maybe four days, I'm not even, maybe a week. But again, it is very thin. I do not know how the real one is supposed to feel, but it is very thin. And then what I want to tell you guys is when you fold it, you feel actually two, you see that little bubble? You feel two, two fabric, two pieces. So it's not like it was glued together where it feels like only one. It is actually you feel two. And I thought I thought I thought that that was kind of weird, but I'm thinking it should have been one because it looks kind of weird and feels weird. But hey, again, it's not perfect. It does have a cl a button closure, which is very nice. Now I do want to let you guys see that it is pink. It's a very nice color. Okay, this is how it looks in the back. No back pocket. That's all it is. You just open, take whatever you need out, zip it, and then close. Easy, very easy wallet. That's why I liked it, it's very nice. And it fits everything. Your phone, you can't go wrong. And this is a really nice wallet. So, now we're gonna do the next one. Okay, now we have this one. It is in brown lettering, or black, I'm sorry, black letter, le lettering. It does come out. Again, it has the things that I said that the Joy does not supply when you get it from her. It comes with a ribbon. And again, with Joy, this dust bag would be inside out. That's just a thing that she does to all of her items. And then it comes with the card. So for this, this dust bag feels very cheap. Very cheap. Doesn't like and and the lettering is very dull. Okay. And again, both wallets came like this with the Louis Vuitton sticker. I just took it out. I folded it actually. It came like this. Folded it. It's a nice paper. Okay, then you have this. I think this one's called the Josephine. I think. So it does have a pink, you know, it's funny. I think it's like a pink foiled paper on here that I know for sure if I was to use this over and over, I know this thing would come off. You could just tell it's very cheap. Um, if someone something was to scratch it, it would come right off. This is the worst of both. 
This, as you can tell, is very matte, very rubbery, very dull. I did not like it at all. Comparing it to all three, you can tell that this one compares and looks more like the real one. And then you have this that is so dull. Just maybe I need to condition it because I didn't condition this one. I conditioned this one. It just doesn't look and feel. It's just horrible. Horrible feeling. Doesn't even feel nice in your hands. Feels like rubber bands. And the smell is horrible. So that's why I didn't use this one. So here you go. Okay, it comes with all this. All this. And then it comes with this. Okay, so in this one you do have four slots. Let me show you. So you have four slots. And it is a dull pink, baby pink. I forget what the real name is of it. It's very nice. Then you do have a big slot in here. I do want to mention that it is very, this pink fabric in here is very, very thin. Like it'll definitely tear for sure. Okay. Um, then you have this little pocket. In a, in a v-shaped then you have a second pocket but again this that pocket holds your coin purse again this one's very rubbery very ugh, i need to condition it it's horrible it feels very bad so zipper works fine inside again you do have that cheap plastic um fabric or i want to say just cheap plastic it'll definitely tear i guess that's where you put your coins and then you have this pocket where it holds and i'm trying to look for a date code no date code in here let me just stuff that in there let me check nothing and this one seems like it does not have a date code Now, in the authentic ones, um, I, re I read online that this pocket goes all the way through, like all the way through the bottom of here. But then I read that the newer ones do not go all the way through. It literally stops right here. So, this one does not have a date code. Very nice. It's just a very nice wallet. The feeling of it, just saying that it's a Louis Vuitton, it's it's a replica. Yeah, just knowing that it's a replica, you already know just by feeling it. And then you do have your gold lettering embossed. Can't really see it. It's nice. It says made in France. Okay, this is a um, triple fold. Then you get this, and it is a button closure. Again, with this one, you could feel two fabrics every time you open it. Doesn't even it doesn't even feel right. Again, I don't know how the real ones feel. I'm planning on actually buying a real one of this, but I don't think they have the blooms anymore. So that is my plan. Um, going back to this wallet, stitching is on point. Stitching is fine. Here. Stitching is fine. Just a little bit off right here. Maybe, yeah, it looks like it's about to fall out. Um, other than that, as you can tell... This one's shiny, this one is not. 
I will probably condition this when I use it. Probably won't be for a couple of years, or maybe not, who knows. I, I really want to wear this one out before I buy an authentic. And who knows, probably just give these away to my sisters. So here you go, Emily and Josephine Wallet. Um, Emily is in blooms. Very nice. Any questions, please comment. Like my video. Thank you.